สินค้าของเราตรงนี้เนี่ยเหมาะกับลูกค้ากลุ่มไหนบแบบใดบนะฮะนี่คือสิแล้วคือกลุ่มนี้เขามีรสนิยมแบบไหนบ้างอืมาเลเซียสไตล์ every other nation in the ASEAN uh, countries are always fascinated by by new and interesting foods that they can find in their local department stores or even convenience stores Demographic of, of people that would actually enjoy this food would be the whole cross section of society, running from young children to you know uh, young adults. But mainly, I would say those going on holidays, those uh, going to school, and that's where snacks play an important role because people are always looking for something to nibble on when they travel, when they go to school, and um, like many other countries in ASEAN. Malaysians eat a lot, so if the food actually comes in a nice packaging and the price is right, they would actually purchase this kind of snacks. กลยุทธ์ที่จะเจาะให้เข้าถึงกลุ่มเป้าหมายกลุ่มนี้เราต้องใช้กลยุทธ์อะไรบ้าง Another great way to promote this product is through hypermarkets such as Giant, Carrefour, and Tesco. By having little booths to promote samples of this product uh, and to show people. That it's a tasty and, and interesting thing that they should actually add to their household snacking behavior. Um, once once people are aware of how good it tastes, they would actually continue buying this. Uh, hypermarkets are always the best way to go in Malaysia because most people do their grocery shopping in hypermarkets. But I'm not saying that's the only way because you can also uh, push the products through convenience stores such as 7-Eleven, AM/PM. And the other 24-hour convenience stores, as well as all the petrol stations. In Malaysia, you find petrol stations all over the place, and that's where people stop to buy their little chocolates and snacks. And this is a good way to promote this kind of snack. In the hypermarkets and 7-Elevens and department stores, as well as petrol stations, you will find a large variety of snacks and products. Not only local products, but products that are brought in from around Malaysia, such as Indonesia, and as well as Thailand. So there's always a room on the Malaysian uh, snack shelf for products such as this from Thailand, as well as you know, because it's got a very local flavor, which is uh, coconut base. It'll appeal to the taste buds of Malaysians. ช่องทางการจัดจำหน่ายที่จะเข้าถึงกลุ่มนี้ด้วย One really important aspect of this product, Pan Pang, is that this product is actually halal, and Malaysia, being predominantly Muslim, as I've mentioned in the past, uh, makes every kind of halal food easily marketable to the whole nation. Bearing in mind that majority of Malaysians are Muslim, and they make up the biggest market of consumers in Malaysia, the best way to market this product in Malaysia is to contact local food distributors. That can channel the product into the major uh, distribution, such as again the hypermarket, the department stores, the the convenience stores, even the re small retail stores and the petrol stations. The most important thing about making this product Pan Pang successful in Malaysia is, apart from location or advertising or, or the product, is the price.